Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in today's video, I will be going over my experience half a little bit over halfway joining a team uh, for Hack the Boxes Season 7 or Vice Season 7 uh, CTF Challenges. Um, so that being said, let's hop right into the video. So uh, just wanted to touch on this uh, just as a learning experience for everyone out there, especially that are new to offensive security, cybersecurity as a whole. <clears throat> um, excuse me. This is my first time actually really, really deep diving into CTFs, especially on a team. I've done them sporadically, never consistently. Uh, I know there's a lot of back and forth gray area about, yeah, they're not really like they don't really generate the real life scenario of actual pen test to a degree that is true however um, unless you're like in a real real confined consulting gig like a kpmg pwc uh, ncc group etc where you're literally put on on job after job as a fte you're never really pen testing red teaming 100 percent of your time um so for me in my experience and in my opinion, these are great to keep, uh, you know, the skill set sharp, um, right? They get you to think outside of the box. They get your mind to work in different ways. And not only that, from the team aspect and team point, you get to see how people do things differently, how they think differently, uh, what triggers, uh, what pops up in their mind to see certain things, how they do certain exploits, how they... Um, you know, code certain um, certain things uh, to work, uh, you know, to get either privesque, uh, you know, a flag or whatever. And I'll touch on that a little bit later. But, you know, you get to you get to see certain things that you wouldn't see normally. Uh, right. Not just outside your work area, but seeing other people that that aren't even in offensive security. Um, for their main job or role, they're doing it as a hobby, right? So you get to see how it works, you know, when you're not constrained to SOPs, policies, rules, and all that shit. You get to see it from a different side and different angle. And that's what I like about it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm nowhere near the top on this team, especially when it comes to CTFs. There are some bad mofos on this team that also do it competitively. And I, and, you know, as I said in one of my other videos, and I told the team, uh, especially after the first box that after that, I think we, we st yeah, it starts on Saturday. So that Sunday I was going to get my PlayStation pro haven't gotten since because this is like video games for not just adults and kids, but also for cybersecurity, offensive security professionals. So I've been doing this consistently showing up every Saturday. And I know people have, you know, family and stuff like that issues going on events. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the team gets it done. Uh, we get those points. And just one quick note, too, if you are new, don't get intimidated because I wasn't new to offensive security, but I was intimidated because there was people that have this shit down to a T, and these are the people that do it competitively. So don't get overwhelmed. Don't get freaked out. Don't be like, oh, shit, how are they so fast? I'm going to suck. You know, I'm going to bring the team down. Don't have that mindset coming in. Always ask questions. We do it on a Discord, so, you know, we'll share our screens. We'll go over um, we'll also write reports for the team. Uh, so if they have any issues, we could, you know, follow up with them, et cetera. Um, but again, don't come with that mindset like, you know, uh, I'm going to bring it down. I don't have experience. How are these guys so quick? Because I was the same way as well. I'm not going to lie. And again, people do this at a competitive level like they do at Call of Duty or uh, what? what's the other one? Fortnite, like where they're really, really competing. Back in the day for me, it was Madden. Um so if they take it to that extreme and they have, so also real quick too, they go over people that, that make these boxes or machines or environments and they look up their history. They know these people from past seasons or past CTFs or whatever, and they have their stuff down to the T where they save their old passwords. They save their own, uh, you know, if it's a windows, they kind of have that, their boxes like shaped out, like, kind of shaping out the trends and the curves on where they're going to go. And again, they take this really seriously as it is competition level. So don't get freaked out by that. 
um, for me, I'm just here to learn, keeping my my sword sharpened, still sh start sharpened still, and that's pretty much you know my goal for this. So our my team is the ISP uh, thirteen thirty seven hackers, obviously led by Infosec Pat. For those that know, we put out the invitations um, earlier in the year when this got started. Uh, so real quick, uh, I don't know if I showed mine at the beginning. Um, right now, I am on my way towards elite hacker. I am currently pro hacker rank. And for those that see my LinkedIn or whatever, and sometimes I put it on Instagram, um, you know, I I got it up this far. Uh, I think I was barely at, I've, I want to say Script Kitty um, earlier uh, in December, I think it was. I don't know if it was Script Kitty or the one above. I, I forgot. But it was one of the it was one of the two uh, really really low ones. Oh, so this is yeah. So it was December, uh, like end mid December time frame. So pretty much this is uh, you know all my stats and stuff like that. Um, now when you go to season seven, pretty much again, it's going to give you the boxes. They release the name and the person that did the box. Hence the research go that goes into like you know scouting the person that did the box, going over their old, their past, etc. And then after this, pretty much as of right now, we've got four more boxes, four more, four more weeks to go for the season. And also the current machines too, uh, for the active. Um, I didn't do backfire. That's the hack the hacker with the C2. Um, for whatever reason, the exploit would not work for me. I still got to go back and finish that one. Um, but as far as the active machines go, I pretty much did a good portion of them that weren't on part of that list. Um, some of them I got to finish. I only got, uh, root. I did a couple others, but they got taken out for the retire as they rotate, as they come in. Uh, let's see certified. I have not done this one. I want to do this one as it's a windows box. I think it might be retired on Saturday when this new one comes out. Um, you know, especially going for the CRTP and Cape at the end of the month. Um, that, those got pushed back and I'll touch on that in another video, but currently right now I want to get these two completed this week. And try to get this knocked out as well. I don't know if I'll have time for this. I will be traveling this Sunday to Miami uh, to be on site for the whole week for work for an AD project. Um, and yeah, so pretty much that's, that's, I just wanted to give you my overall experience. It's been great. Uh, met a lot of new people, a lot of great people as well. Some new people that are new to this field that have really exploded, gained some knowledge and skills. Um, and also too, they're also doing some challenges. Uh, which I didn't know coming into this, that challenge, doing these challenges also help your ranking uh, for uh, your Hack the Box ranking uh, right here. The challenges points go towards this as well. Um, and I believe unless you're the last ranking, which I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's on, it starts with an O. Um, unless you hit that ranking, I'm 90% sure that's what, what it was. Uh, your points go down if you stop. So you could go down backwards if you stop, now, unless you got that the the biggest ranking, uh, then you're pretty much you're there for for life. If, if I remember that correctly, um, so actually too, I think it's down here. Yeah, okay. So I was script kitty, so I was right. So I was the bottom of the bottom when I really first started. Um, omniscient, there it is. So unless you're omniscient, that's where if you stop, you won't have no effect. If I remember correctly, I'm 90% sure that's how it was explained to me, but don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, for me, I'm going to keep doing this. Um, I don't know if there's a off period between the last box, which is the first week of April until DEF CON, um, but I'm still going to be trying the, those challenges as well um, during that time frame. If there's no uh, second or season eight in between that time frame, um, but if there is, I'm going to be obviously hopping on that and then also i will be hopping on again after defcon i'm going to be trying to do this consistently uh with the team uh for life uh that's my goal uh, i love it i love hopping on there on sun uh, saturdays um and then after you know shooting the shit whatever um I, I love it i really love the experience love the people i've met there and we're also planning on meeting at defcon for for those that could go uh that's our goal as well uh just to hang out kick back some beers maybe if we all could get there on a, on a Thursday, Netspy has their pool party again. We could go do that and have some fun. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really would recommend joining a team, um, getting that camaraderie going, building that, that network up, friendship, 
Um, and then also, you know, learning from each other, thriving, uh, you know, again, different skills. I, I'm horrible at the Linux boxes. Um, we have someone that's new. I don't, he's new to the field, but dude's a master at Linux. Um, he also, for the new Bloodhound update, uh, that InfoSec Pat did, I think almost a month ago, he's the one that, uh, uh, Mr. Caffeine OD, he's the one that figured that shit out in the Docker. So, uh, you know, stuff like that, where you learn from people, especially him being new, he has, a, I'm like, dude, you have a ton of skills. And also he's the one doing our reporting. Um, the dude has some skills and, you know, learning like that. And not only that, but watching him and other people that you just know that are going to excel in the field. Um, I, I just, I, I just love this whole aspect. Uh, thanks to InfoSec Pat. Uh, for for this, uh, you know, like I said, I'm I'm planning on doing this for life uh, as long as I can. <laughs> so I love it. Um, hopefully, there's a little mini season in between, uh, you know, this one and then DefCon. But if not, I'm gonna be going on those challenges. Now, for the challenges, they're a little different. Um, they're all over the place, meaning like you got reversing web, crypto, hardware, forensics, um, which is good because that also tickles the brain on other aspects of cybersecurity. Um, and some of them are pretty hard from what I have been told. Um, so I'm trying to knock, I'm going to start on the easy ones and then, um, work my way down. Um, unless I see something that catches my eye that, uh, you know, I want to go for that challenge. Definitely too want to get into web three and more crypto as well. Um, but yeah, for that, you know, I just wanted to touch on this real quick and I would highly, re again, highly recommend you guys join a team, a community, um, and get that going because it's great. Uh, and you learn a lot and you can also give back a lot as well. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I'm doing this for life. Um, hopefully the team sticks together for life and, uh, can't wait to meet them and hang out and kick back some beers, some old fashioned, some cigars at DEF CON. So yeah, that's the video for today. And, um, I'll be back on the next one. Got, got real tied up and busy with work. Uh, got to be traveling Sunday. I'll be gone for the week next week in Miami. Um, but I'm going to try to put up, I got a lot of video content that I need to edit out and push out. I just got real tied up, got something done that I've been working on since, uh, end of September, November, finally. And, uh, I'm going to be, uh, touching on that. It's an, another niche area that I wanted to get into more hands-on. And uh, yeah, that's the video. So please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're going to join a team or if you agree with that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.